Hi, this is Scott Kilos here, 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, we're back with another installment in the Yaesu VX6 Operator series of videos. For today, what we're going to be talking about is something that I've seen come up quite a lot in uh, forums and user groups and places where you ask questions. And that is, how do I delete a memory channel from the front panel? Because if you look in the manual, uh, and if you're one of those people that likes to just answer every question with read the manual, well, guess what? The manual doesn't say anything anywhere, even one time, about deleting a memory channel in it. It's not there. Uh, there is no selection. There is no, there's nothing in the menu that says delete uh, this channel. Um, what happened here was Yacy's Department of Wacky Ideas, and I've talked about Yacy's Department of Wacky Ideas before. Um, regardless of the radio involved, they must for some reason get involved and do at least one or two weird things on a Yacy radio. I think it's to basically subvert their own success. Uh, if I didn't know any better, I'd say someone at Yesu must have some Irish ancestry uh, because they do tend to just shoot themselves in the foot every now and again just because, and they did in this case. So rather than just put in a convenient delete channel feature, what they instead decided to do was do a thing called masking a memory. Now on page 38 of your manual, you will find a reference paragraph there towards the process of masking a memory, which we're going to talk about today. What this is in short, and this is why it's really a wacky idea for deleting a channel, is this gives you the ability to select a channel and then mask it from view. So it'll still it'll still be programmed into the radio, but it will not appear in scan and it will not appear as you cycle the channel control knob uh, through the available memory slots. But it's still there and it can be returned later. But if at any point you overwrite, so you can go into VFO, put in an entirely different frequency and then save it to that masked memory channel and it will overwrite it. That will now be what lives on that memory channel. What you had previously will now be effectively deleted and overwritten. But it's never, you know, so it's, it's you, but if you just wanted to just go in and for whatever reason just make the channel go away and have an open channel slot, it just cannot be done from the front panel on this radio. You can do it on the CPS pretty darn easily. But for these purposes, well, it is what it is. So I'm going to show it to you, and I, I kind of guarantee probably no one will get any use out of this. But for educational purposes, if you're ever anybody ever asks the question, you at least have an answer and a response to that question. So this is what we do. In order to mask this, uh, this memory, uh, what you need to pay attention to in particular is don't pay attention to the displayed frequency or name you see here, for instance, TC12. And we're going to be picking on that channel again. Instead, look at the channel number at the center top. So here we have a 94. I hope the, that's being picked up in the light. But channel 94 is going to be the affected channel that we're going to deal with. And what we're going to do is we're going to long press the FW key, uh, and we're going to do that for one second. When when it's taken effect, what you'll see is the very that number at the top, that channel number, will begin flashing. At that point, you can turn the knob and select the channel that you uh, you want to actually deal with. And like I said, none of this will change as as you cycle through. And in fact, you're probably it's probably going to start flashing on a completely different memory slot other than the one that you're currently on. But once you've selected that that memory channel or that memory slot that you want to mask, you're just going to short press the little nuclear symbol at the bottom left hand corner here. And I know it's not a true nuclear symbol, but really, who has a name for that? It's the wires X symbol, uh, double pretzel, whatever. Uh, maybe we'll make up a name for it. So let me show you the process here. Again, we've taken note that 94 is the channel that we're going to want to mask. So we're going to long press for one second. And now it flashes, and you'll see it went to 99. So I'm going to use the channel control knob to go back to 94, which is what I want to do. And I'm going to short press the, uh, the nuclear symbol. Now it's going to take you to channel 1 at this point. Now if I want to verify that that is now gone, let's go ahead and uh, let's, go to, let's go to channel 93. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we, we're on channel 93. 94 is the one that we ma um, masked. And after TC11 should come TC12, right? So if I rotate the knob, nope, straight to 13. 94, 
isn't showing up anymore. So it won't show up in scan, and it won't show up as I scroll through the selections here. It is effectively masked. Now, like I said, if I wanted to replace that with something else, I could go into VFO, do the entire process of programming either a simplex or a repeater channel. I could save it to channel 94, and now I have something completely new there. But let's go ahead and bring TC12 back. Let's, let's reverse that process and, and uh, bring it back from being masked. So we, we're going to follow exactly the same process. So we're going to long press the FW key. Takes us to 99. Let's go to 94. And 94 comes up. And let's short press. And in this case, it just takes you, it doesn't take you back to the very beginning. It just shows now TC12, so 11, 12, 13. Channel 94 is back. So that is masking a memory, how to mask it, how to return it to view. Again, you know, it could be possible that somebody out there might actually have a use for this. Um, I Personally, I don't. If I have a channel that's just kind of annoying and getting in the way, I'll just skip it on scan and call it a day. I don't, um, but if, you know, for some reason, maybe I made a mistake in programming a repeater. Uh, that's a, actually a good thing. Maybe I'm rolling through there and I'm not getting anything out of this repeater. I check the recipe on it and it's all wonky. Um, I may want to go ahead and mask that and just overdo it again. Just do the entire process again and save it there to fix it. There's one thing. So maybe there is a use for it after all. So with that, I will bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Southwest Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.